the title of the video is going to be Crutch. And what we're going to talk about is what we lean on when things don't exactly go as planned. I know we've kind of been talking about that a lot lately, but this is a battle. Every time we're up against something, we're up against a wall. We're fighting a battle. And the good news is God's already won the war. So we keep fighting in our daily lives and keep showing the love of Christ in our game. That's going to help us get to where we need to be spiritually and where we're growing with Him. So, crutch. What, is that, what does that mean to you? Okay, what I think of is an athlete who's like me, trips, falls, rolls their ankle on crutches for two weeks, right? That's devastating. That's, that's no fun. I mean, pretty much almost all athletes have been on crutches before, right? It's not pretty. Especially if there's banana peels. I mean, I've almost fallen. It's ridiculous, okay? So, when we're on a crutch, we're leaning on it, right? We put all of our weight on it. We put our trust. We put our support in it because it's holding us up. It's the one thing that's helping us walk still when, you know, the rest of our body is in pain, right? So, when we're leaning on it, every step we lean on it. We step on it. If something is under it, say well, there's ice or something, and we slip, boom, we're done. Down on the ground. And what I kind of want to illustrate with that is when we lean on things that aren't God, that aren't Christ, that don't build us up and help us grow our relationship with Him, they can slip out from under us before we even know it, okay? And it's something that isn't, it's not easy to see all the time, right? So what do we lean on? We lean on softball, we lean on coaches, we lean on friends, stats, you know, the game, or, you know, people who, you know, let us down, or this, that, whatever. We lean on, you know, if you're an athlete, like me, I love to eat. I have to eat like three times a day or I go crazy, right? God says, hey, spend that much time with me every day and see what happens, because that's how much time I want to see you, I want to spend time with you. So we lean on stuff like, Oh, I didn't get to eat on time, or oh, I, you know, dropped all my food on my, the floor, okay? We get all kinds of upset, crazy, you know, there's food on your shirt, whatever. Um, but same situation, if we're leaning on something that isn't concrete, that can't fulfill us, that can't make us stronger, that can't make us more intimate with God, it's ultimately going to let us down, right? Even friends, even family, I mean, we're not perfect, right? We're we're born into this world not perfect. Jesus is the only one who could be that way. So ultimately, we're going to let somebody down. We're going to be let down. It's it's sad and it's not exactly something that's nice to hear, but it reassures us that when we lean on something, it has to be God. It has to be that crutch when we put, you know, our trust in it and our faith in it, it has to be God. It can't be these other things that fade away. Um, we've used this verse before, but Isaiah 40, um, 7 and 8, it talks about, you know, the grass withers and the flowers fall because of the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass, meaning that God's in control. God says what happens when he's in control. I mean, he's blowing like wind and we are like the grass. And verse 8 says the grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. To me, that means, okay, no matter what I try to use as a crutch, no matter what I try to fill that hole with, God's the only one who's going to be there. It's like trying to fill a square peg with, you know, square hole with a round peg. It's not going to work either way. So be encouraged with that and remember that when you, when you need something to lean on, need something to put your trust in, that God is the only crutch that's going to be able to hold us up. And He's more than that. He's, he's carrying us through, really. He's not, you know, something that's going to help us get through. He's going to be there the entire way, every step of the way to help us. So I hope you guys have a good week and God bless. We'll see you next time.